Welcome back to Moons of Madness. Last episode, we finished poisoning and killing the great tree in the greenhouse. Now we're headed over to the great door, the ancient door on the Martian surface. Solve the alien orb. Mm, they look like puzzle pieces. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, so I can either change the layer. Yeah, I can either select all of them, the outside ones, or the top one. That's it. And of course, I can rotate them. Uh. That looks like the. I'm not sure what part I should be. Should I look at it in the world? Or should I look at it on the screen? I guess on the screen's probably better. <clears throat> yeah, that one goes there. So now the top and the middle are aligned correctly, but the bottom is not. And I can't select just the bottom. So in that case, let's let's set the bottom. And then I'll go and set the top separately. Oh, I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. So now let's do the top. And then, oh, yep, that's it. The sheer scale of this place is amazing. The murals are so well preserved. I came here to learn from the ancients, travelers at the nexus of the dream world. The Gaia engine they discovered, that immaculate machine spans both dimensions. It powered their entire civilization, gave them pure vision, sight through time, knowledge unencumbered, and with all the good that intense light and power brings, there is always someone or something that wants to claim it for their own. I craved it. The knowledge consumed me. And I learned and I saw. It is a mural of shame. It's a warning they left here long ago. Let the filth take over the Gaia engine. The universe is left to the whims of ancient beings awakening from a million years' slumber. You and I, we are the final guardians. We must repair what has been broken. Reality will cease to exist. There's something under the ground here. It's shifting through the sand. Get off the sand, Declan! Declan! Holy shit! Keep moving! Keep fucking moving! Get the fuck out of there! Run! I'm not gonna make it. Oh shit, 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 shit. I got gotcha. you. Move! I'm gonna hold them off. What? what? Dozy! Declan? Get back to the rover, Newhart! There's nothing you can do here! Hell no! I can help! I know what we need to do! It's everywhere! Your friend should not be here. Terrible ancient secrets burrow into every crevice.
bitter reunion. I love the ominous talk about there being something under the sand. You know we're gonna have to deal with that. You know we're gonna have to walk on sand very soon. The lighting here is so cool. Them. How do I open this door? I can feel it crawling underneath the stone. Runes. A language. A key, maybe. Their eyes. They are forever open. Never blinking until they crack like eggs and reappear. Eglin, snap out of it! Here, take this. Uh, what am I supposed to do with it? Okay, a charged orb is supposed to go there. Or an orb needs to go there to charge? I'm not sure which. There's the sand. <clears throat> oh, I never noticed this. My heart rate, look at the bottom left, BPM, beats per minute. It goes up as you're sprinting and moving, and then goes down when you stop, which is how the heart works. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's so cool. What's not cool is whatever's going to be under the sand. Looks like fun, let's go! Shaking. Not good. Oh, there's multiple of them. I think I can get up right there. Just need to be able to make it there. Maybe now? I feel tremors. I just need to continue straight that way, I think. Gotta get off the sand. Josie! Oh my god, Josie! 
Hold on. As I calmly refill my air. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh boy. Whoa. The Immaculate Machine. That is so cool looking. We saw a picture of that in our... in our basement. The moons loom above us, drawing closer together with every second. Josie! No, 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 no. Declan! Declan! Fuck, this can't be happening. Shane, listen to me. You can't trust her. She, she isn't, she isn't who you think. And if she is who you think, she doesn't deserve you. They told me to loaded into the Invictus. A failsafe, you know. They said I'd know when to use it. Said I'd know if I should. Well, it's now, Shane. It's you. I won't be coming along, buddy. Save the world, man. And tell your mom to fuck off. <laughs> Josie, right? Are they dead? I mean, I guess, yeah. I was thinking their body doesn't look torn apart or anything, but since their helmet's crushed, they wouldn't be able to breathe. Didn't we need a secret passphrase that only Declan knew to start uh, to launch the Invictus? Did they give it to us and I just didn't notice? Oh, maybe this is it or No, no, that's not it. <laughs> this is part of a puzzle. The runes, their language, it pans across the dimensions. It rotates and changes meaning. Recreate the sigils, align the inlays. Light the remaining pillars and charge the waning machine. Its glow will restore the barrier. This feels like a choose your ending sort of thing. Blow it up or complete it. Can I continue? Actually, I, I do have to do at least this part. I have a feeling I am going to have to choose later, but not yet. I have to do this for now. Damn, these are so bright. So... Complete the inlay, so I just need this to match up with the marks that are already there. Uh, I think that might match up with the left side. And... Possibly the right side? That might be it. Oh, no. Oh, it... shows what it's supposed to be up there. Aha! Alright, this one's going to be a bit harder since there's two ones that are undone. I'm going to use the squares as anchors. So the middle one has a square at the bottom right. 
and the left one has a square at the bottom left. You know, I really should look at the controls that show up on the middle right of the screen. Because they show Q and E, and that's how I realized, hey, I can rotate them freely without having to do any weird stuff like going to others, rotating it, and then going back to this one. That makes it a bit easier. <laughs> anyway. That's the middle one. Yeah, that makes this a lot easier. Actually, that's the right one. of infinite knowledge. Do not fear it. No, your friends, they died to help you finish what they started. Middle one, there should be a square on the bottom left, just like this. Actually, I think this, this is the right one. Lucky. The guide for the runes that's up there is a little bit faded away and kind of like scratched off in parts, so it's not 100% accurate. So if there's minor differences, it's not that big of a deal. Here we go, this should be the one. What the hell? Oh my god. It's all falling apart. Everything. What do I have to do? To the moons. 
You must go to the moons. There is no other way. Fly to the stars, to where the Cyrano broke the barrier and slipped from the sky. Fly there in what aircraft? Do we have an aircraft? Certainly not the Cyrano. Launchpad. The Invictus should be ready to fly. Ah, the Invictus, right. In you. The Invictus, the failsafe. I was under the impression that that was... I just assumed it was just a rocket? Meant to deliver a payload, not something you could actually ride inside of? As a person? Last man on Mars. All right, Shane. Snack for the road. You can do this. First step: get to the command console. Retrace their path. Complete the ritual. Restore power to the Invictus. I am the last person, as far as I know, left alive on this entire planet, aren't I? Volkova's dead. Lucas is dead. Josie's... Josie Wilcox? Josephine Wilcox? Josephine Wilcox is dead. Delapore's dead. I don't... I don't think the CEO is currently here. Something got here before me. Not good. Oh shit, I just realized I can sprint on ladders. You know, quote unquote sprint. What are we looking at here? Trailblazer Alpha. Anything useful here? Security system and life support system online, I think. Just not power distribution. Yeah, nothing really useful there. Shit! There's movement under the seat. 
sand. Those oh. things are back. Oh no. Let's try that again. Shit. There's movement under the sand. Those things are back. Oh shit, I can't walk up on that. Uh oh. I hope I don't immediately die! Third try. Shit. There's movement under the sand. Those things are back. Fill up with air. Apparently I need to just take a second and relax and surveil the situation. Where do I need to go? I can't seem to jump over the route. So I need to either go behind the meerkat or like behind this building. All right, well, I'll sprint, but last time I did that, I really didn't work. That rock should be safe. Come on, wasn't I on the rock? That rock should be safe. Okay. Great. Uh, what the hell, let's go. Uh-huh. Ah. Made it. I hope to God the ship holds together. not have time to fill up with air or anything like that. We just need to get this thing launched. Getting close. Just need a little more time. I never thought I'd be leaving Mars this way. Lucas. Ina. Josie. Declan. This one's for you. Everything needs to be green. This is it. This control panel looks so cool. Everything needs to be green. All right. All right. I'm an engineer. I can fly a ship. Detonate payload. Code name Mars sucks. Oh, they just wrote down the password. Thanks, Declan. <laughs> Bad security, but thanks. Good in this case. Everything needs to be green. Yes, this is satisfying. Hell yes, flip the things. Flip the things. Good as it can be. Let's do this. Now, starting the countdown. you are just you alone it's time shame time for what hush my sweet boy it's almost over no this is wrong you want to release those things they must be free so that i can be freed you destroyed the gaia engine with your corrupted hands please shame help me
Oxygen 4%. Oh my god. Oh, this is such a cool scene. Launch the payload with my radio. What do I need to do? It is done. They are free. What? What's happening? Did I wait too long? Astronomers continue to be baffled by the sudden disappearance of the moons of Mars. So that wasn't a game over exactly. It was actually, I guess, one ending. I'm pretty sure that happened just because I took too long to, to launch the payload. So let's try this again. Just you alone. It's time, Shane. Time for what? Hush, my sweet boy. It's almost over. No! This is wrong! You want to release those things! They must be freed! So that I can be freed! You destroyed the Gaia engine with your corrupted hands. Please, Shane, help me. I'm ready. Mars sucks. Astronomers continue to be baffled by the sudden disappearance of the moons of Mars. Let's finish off with some thoughts on Moons of Madness. I really enjoyed it. NASA has called a press conference to address the speculation that a manned secret mission to Mars. The biggest problem I have with it is that the horror feels really silly and feels like it takes itself too seriously sometimes. The attempts to be Lovecraftian also come across as kind of just trying too hard sometimes, but it's always silly in a way that's at least entertaining and campy. And aside from that, I liked basically everything else about it. I think it looks fantastic. It's really beautiful. The sound works wonderful. The voice acting is fantastic. There's so many visually striking scenes, especially on the Martian surface and in some of the alien places where I just love to just look out and just stare at the scenery. It's just really pretty. Also, one of my favorite things in the whole game is just all the flippy switches and buttons that you can press, individually select and press. Those are so satisfying. They're so cool. 
I'm so glad you don't just go to the control panel and press E to launch ship or, or something like that. You actually have to flip a bunch of switches, and yeah, it's just flipping switches that are red until they're green. It's very simple. There's nothing really interesting going on with that interaction other than that it's just fun to press the freaking buttons. I want to press more buttons. I have a personal request to the developers. You have the assets, you obviously have the means because you've already done it in parts within the game. Please make a game just like this, except the only thing you do is just operate space equipment on Mars, right? Like you have to operate all the drilling machines and I don't know, you're drilling out <laughs> some of the uh, sites where they're trying to build things or search for alien life on Mars or what have you. I just want to use the machines. I just want to use heavy Martian machinery. Just let me press those switches and move some stuff around. Can you make that as just its own game? Thanks. Well, that has been my playthrough of Moons of Madness. Thank you for watching.